Alright guys, I'm supposed to be getting ready for work, <laughs> but I'm uploading a video to YouTube right now that's taking ugh, forever, I'm having to split it into two because it's just not, not having it. Um, and I thought I would just turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing before I get too carried away. I've decided this year I'm going to take part in Mike Deacon's Mission Inspiration. And I've had this, I've had this for ages, it's just a free little booklet thing that I got sent about swapping sugar and stuff, but I thought it's quite a nice size for journal pages, so there's 12 pages, front, if you count front and back, I've written all the months on. So this is going to be my Mission Inspiration Journal. I have started prepping for January and you are going to see January's page on here. I am going to share the process with you, even if it's terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm making a cover for that journal. I've already, this is um, one of those boxes you get things in from Amazon cut it down to the right size. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this or if I'm going to bind it with some binder rings down the side. That probably will happen. But for now, because I can get, take the pages out easily enough, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I've just stuck some... Uh, these are scrapbooking papers and a piece of book text to hide the joy. Um, I've gotten already what this is. Ah, yeah. It is paper do craft paper mania from the all aboard and it's like different journaling cards. I don't know if you can still get those, it's quite old, I've not really used them. I don't really do journaling cards anymore. Sometimes they're nice for things like this. It's gonna be part of my layering on this cover. I'm gonna break out my gesso and I'll use this stuff. <laughs> I've only been using it for a little while and I'm still making my mind up about it. Yeah, so I just want to sort of make this match the rest of the book because it looks a bit new and pristine. So I just want a little bit of gesso on my palette knife and plop it on there. And I just want to distress it up a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for a nice even result. I am looking for something a little bit wishy washy like this. I don't know if my camera's picking it up very well. When I look on the screen here, sometimes it looks great, and then I look on the computer, and actually all you can see is black. So I'm really sorry if you can't see it. I will get better with this as I get back more practice in. I'm sorry. Okay. Something like that. And do I want to do that to the rest of the cover? No. I like the cover the way it is at the moment. Um, what I am going to do to the cover is grab my inks out. Give me one sec. And I want these on. Um, 
As usual, I'll have to push around for a second. Yeah, right. I promise I will get better at this. I will be more prepared. There we go. I'm going to stress the edges with the stays on. Just because this is a nice dark ink. Rather than the stress ink, which can be a bit too light. Uh, yeah. There's no grey day outside again. I've got the artificial light on. I can't wait until the summer when we can do this with some nice natural light I'm ripping this sponge to shreds <laughs> You can join the Mission Inspiration at any time of the year. Um, and I've been watching all last year, trying to decide if I want to join or not. See if I could maybe keep up. Um, I was doing JKIS last year, but something's happened and we've not been getting the lessons. The last I heard, the instructor was ill, so yeah, can't really blame him for that. But it's a bit frustrating because I paid for that course. This course, however, is entirely free, <laughs> and it's on Facebook. So if you do want to join, I shall remember to put the link in the description below, and you can pop along. You just have to answer a couple of questions about how long you've been joining them and such. And then they'll accept you and you can join in. They have mini inspirations as well if you need a bit more. I think I will probably just stick to the main inspiration things because I'm a very busy lady. But it's nice sometimes just to get some inspiration and prompts from outside because otherwise I find my pages start to all look very similar. I only use certain products, whereas this is going to encourage me to pick something else up and play with it and grow. <laughs> uh, so now I need to wait for this to dry and then I will do the same with that. I might just hit it with the heat gun right now, but I'm not going to make you watch that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is an idea I've got from Gina Aaron's. Um, is it Wish? Something like that. One of the uh, sort of like eBay, but it's really cheap. And this is from China. And wait like a couple of weeks for it but it cost me like 90p or something silly like that there's a brush cleaner for your makeup brushes but I'm gonna cut it so that I can get a mark making tool out of it I'm cutting this away because I think it's a little bit more raised than the dots and if I don't that will be all you see is that get a mark so I'm getting rid of that 
Um, yeah, I, I'll grab my ink. Stop this in the ink. Nice. I even like the way that it's got the little word rinsing backwards. <laughs> Adds a bit of interest. all over the background randomly that get some second generation stamps in there as well faded off the edges yep like that and get some text in there as well. Just so the background's not so flat and boring. And it all unifies a little bit more. There we go. And we've got this tag. No, I think I want this to put it upside down. And that there. Yes, I like it. So now I'm just going to have to grab my. Oops, sorry. That's what I need to warm it up. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Wobbly wobbly. There we go. Uh, um, my eyes being drawn to a blank spot right there. So just get rid of that. And then I'll just throw that down there. Grab it in a second. Get some gel reading on here. Hmm. I'm wondering actually if I want it that way. It's all light colours at the top. I think I do. There we go. And now, because this is the cover, I can go quite bulky with this. So I'm thinking. Okay. 
second. Yeah. And also, let me just find my flowers. These are baby white flowers. Michelle Brown. Good, good shape. A little bit of that one. Gold, I don't know the gold. Treasure Island Aqua. I'll give this one a bit of 
auch und so. There we go. Um, I will get these. Oh, not need. Not need. Right. Oh. I shall heat these up with the heat gun, dry them off, and we'll put them on the front. Okay, I think that's dry enough to take now. In just a few seconds. Um, right now, let's just position. Um, no. I like it. Gel medium again. Out and we'll make sure the flower sticks. I think I need to put some glue in there and I'll stop them together. Now what I need some lettering. Do I need um, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Do I need a block? Should have stamped before I put the flowers on. <laughs> this is going to be good. Oh, I didn't think that was going to work at all. Don't pause there. Right. I'm doing my letters individually, just so that I don't make any mistakes, and so that I can space it as I want, and I can't let stick to the block, so I use my fingers. Um, I find that sometimes you get bigger gaps than you want because you can't cut as close to the stamp as you would like, because I've got to close in that way. That is the wonkiest eye I've ever seen. <laughs> that was very wobbly when I put that down. Oops. 
Yung 12. What I could have done. I've done this under a piece of tissue and then put the tissue there. That would have been easier. Oh, well, not clear, but white tissue paper and the tissue paper would have gone pretty much clear once you put the, that medium to the size of the top. But never mind. I like to live dangerously. Bloody mess. Never mind. Trying to look distressed. I'm not really disgusted. Um, So now I need to find something interesting to talk about anyway. <laughs> the eye does not want to fix anything, not even the best thing that I've done now. Letters do not hold a stick to anything. Oh, are we going to have enough room? I am sloping down with bad noises. Never mind. Right, now I could do this in numbers. Do I have any numbers? Oh, yeah. And then. But I do have some somewhere. Hang on. Lovely. Okay, I am going to put the date. 
And I think let's do those um these corners too. But um And I should try and get a nice photograph of that in some nice light so you can see it properly. So that is the cover for my Mission Inspiration for 2018. And I hope you join me in watching me actually do the missions because that would be great fun. <laughs> okay then. Thanks, and I will see you soon.